Anytime we're out and about, it's inevitable that we'll encounter some type of germ. So let's use a little chemistry to create homemade hand sanitizing gel for quick and efficient cleaning. Both ethanol and isopropyl alcohol are well known for their amazing antibacterial properties. However, they can be quite harsh and drying to one's skin, which is why hand sanitizer has become so wildly popular. Hand sanitizers usually include a substance known as a humectant, such as glycerin or aloe. Each of these substances are wonderful at keeping your hands moisturized while sanitizing. The World Health Organization highly recommends adding 3% hydrogen peroxide to any homemade hand sanitizer. When making your hand sanitizer, you can also include essential oils such as lavender for scent, let's say, or something like tea tree oil, which has further antibacterial properties. The issue becomes if we were to combine only these substances, our hand sanitizer would be quite runny. To remedy this issue, we need to add a material that's going to create what's known as a colloidal gel. This will allow our sanitizer to stick to itself. To accomplish this, we're gonna use a polymer known as polyethylene oxide. Polyethylene oxide is used in all sorts of soaps, shampoos, and conditioners as a thickening agent. To begin, we need 60 milliliters of distilled water. If you don't have distilled, go ahead and boil some tap water. Just be sure it cools to room temperature before you use it. Secondly, we need to create a strong vortex within our water. This will allow us to avoid any lumps or clumps when we add the polyox. I'm going to use a magnetic stir, but an electric hand mixer or a frother will work just fine. Once the water is stirring, we're going to very slowly sprinkle in approximately two grams of polyox. The slower, the better. Allow it to continue to stir until a gel is formed. Next, we'll add 15 milliliters of 3% hydrogen peroxide. In you go, and a nice stir. Then five milliliters of glycerin and another little stir. Now's the time to add any sort of essential oil you prefer. Just a few drops will do. Finally, we need to add our alcohol. I'll be using ethanol, but isopropyl alcohol works just as well. 240 milliliters of alcohol will do. One last stir. Did you know that any solution that's at least 50% alcohol will ignite in the presence of a flame? This means that any hand sanitizer with the recommended amount of alcohol is highly flammable. This makes proper storage of our sanitizer crucial. First, we need a clean, dry container for sanitary purposes. Then we need to cap it tightly to avoid any evaporation of the alcohol. And lastly, store it safely away from any open flame or heat sources. Thank you for helping me make this hand sanitizer today. I hope a little learning has occurred and you have a wonderful day.